First up tonight, new at 530. I'm glad that Saybrook police did what they needed to do and kept all of our kids safe, even if it wasn't our school. A high school threatened overnight with violence. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. The threat was made on the social media platform Snapchat and was spotted by a concerned parent all the way in Colorado. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is live at the mobile newsroom outside Old Saybrook High School with how that threat made its way to Connecticut. Kevin. Well, Aaron, you may say, well, why Old Saybrook? Well, Manchester police notified all police agencies throughout the state of Connecticut early this morning about a threat. Old Saybrook police responded and took precautionary measures. The threat was unsubstantiated, according to Manchester police, meaning not specifically identifying Manchester High or any Connecticut high school. The district immediately placed all five RSO officers on alert. A concerned parent in Aurora, Colorado, was notified by her child about a threat posted on Snapchat, a statement suggesting students at PSACT would be harmed. That parent Googled PSACT and somehow came up with Manchester Police and called them at 3 a.m. today. That department notified all Connecticut police agencies who had little notice to react before the doors to their high schools would open. By 7 a.m., Old Saybrook Police had portable walk-through metal detectors and 10 officers screening students. Superintendent Jan Peruccio and Police Chief Michael Sparrow sent an email alert to the community indicating they received an unconfirmed possible threat against a Connecticut school. Out of extreme abundance of caution, students will be asked to enter our buildings this morning through metal detection equipment and be subject to bag checks, just as they would be in an airport. As much as I was scared to read the emails, thinking that there could have been a threat there, um, I was happy to know that they were going to be safe regardless. There was no direct threat to Old Saybrook or any Connecticut high school. Parents tell me in this heightened era of security, taking extra measures and walking through a detector is all right with them. Taking precautionary necessary means, you know, for all the kids' safety is what we really need to do, and I think they did what was right. Now, late this afternoon, the Old Saybrook School Superintendent and Police Chief put out an email notice to the community saying, we are pleased to report that all Old Saybrook Public Schools students and staff had a safe and typical day after a unique start. And they go on to add that with so little information in such short time that they had to respond. In the meantime, Manchester Sergeant Ryan Shea tells Eyewitness News that their investigation of the threat is over, but the investigation continues in Aurora, Colorado. Live at the Mobile Newsman, Old Saber, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.